Okay, here we are for the section 3.1 homework. Okay, so they want us to find a bunch of values on here. So let's do the mean. So to do this, we need to open up StatCrunch. And it'll just put the data in StatCrunch. Okay, so once I'm in StatCrunch, you want to hit the Stat button here on the top tab. Then you want to hit Summary Stat. Okay, now yours is going to look different because I'm on an iPad, but hit Columns. I'm going to select the column that you want. And now the statistics, here's we want to select what we want. And we want to select the mode here. And some of these things we don't need. We'll keep the min and the max, and I'll show you why. Okay, and once you're there, we just go ahead and compute. Okay, so there we go. 369.12. Good. Okay, the median. Median was. 200. Okay, the mode, 475. And the mid range. So the mid range, the mid range, what we have to do is add the min and the max and then divide by two. So we have to do, uh, let's see if I can do it on this thing here. I had this figured out the other day. Or, uh, okay, so. So we need to do 39 plus 3,000 divided by two. So 39 plus 3,000 divide that by two. 1519.5, 1519 and a half, 1519 and a half. Okay, it's not letting me uh, select that answer, so I'll just, um, we'll just go to the next problem. You guys can see how to do that one. Okay, so, let's see here. Oh, it's down there, that's the problem. Sorry. Okay, so to do this one, sort of the same idea. Okay, we're back to back to normal. We want to open this up in StatCrunch, which is very nice. And um, just go ahead and do the same thing we did before: stat, summary stat, columns. But in this case, we'll go ahead and select both columns because then it'll find whatever we want on both columns. So they want the mean. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to unselect everything but the mean. You don't have to do this, you could just do everything if you wanted, by the mean. And then just look for the mean. Keep that. Okay, 71.6 and 79. 71, oops. 71.6. That was 79, let me just double check it. Okay, good. Perfect. 
Oh, they did want the median. Darn it. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it up again. Oh, it says up here, let's see, mean and median. Okay. I wanna to get to that last question, that's. So I'm just doing what I did before. Let's try to go a little faster. So we need the median. So the median's there, we'll just compute it. So the median is, uh, let's see, 72 and 78. So 72, 78. Okay, now you got a 79 and 71. Okay, the median is lower for, okay, so the, both the, the males had less. Well, this is pretty much just what it is. The mean and median for males are both less than the mean and median for females, and that's true. 71 is less than 79. 72 is less than 78. Okay. Oh, is there more? Does there appear to be a difference? Okay, since the sample is so small, there is no meaningful information. There does not appear to be any difference. The pulse rates. Pulse rates. I'm going to go to this one right here, but... Might be part A too. Okay, good. Okay, so this is the same thing as the last question. Just pull it up on StatCrunch and find it. Okay. Okay, so this is one we hadn't done, so I'll have to show you how to do this one. This is sort of like the GPA problem. I'll show you how to do this one. <laughs> you just got my video. Hmm? You just got my video. Keep pulling up the wrong thing. Okay, that's my notability. Don't delete me. Why does that keep happening? This thing's a pain in the butt. Why is that like that? All right. I don't know why that happened, but okay. So this is how you do this problem. What we have to do is do. Uh, we have to find the middle of 42 and 45. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the long way. So we wanna average those two out. And that's called the class midpoint. So it's gonna be 43 and a half if you do it on your calculator. So do 42 plus 45, divide that by two and you'll get that. Okay, so 43.5, and under that's 23. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. So essentially, I'm just going up a point and a half from the, from the, lower, from the lower class. So the next one's going to be 47 and a half, and that's a 14, etc. And what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the 43.5 times the 23, okay? And the 47.5 times the 14, and it's going to be plus the 51.5 times the uh, 6, plus the 55.5 times the 4, plus the 59.5 times the 2. You're going to get this total. Get this total, and you're going to divide by the, the frequency total. Okay, so it's the total of this, all this right here is this, 
And then your frequency total is going to be something like 23 plus 14 plus 6 plus 4 plus 2. And then whatever that is, that's going to be your answer. Okay? So that's how you do that one. Okay, let's do the grade one. GPA. They tell us that. Okay, there's a student who gets an A and a 3. So it's a 4 and a 3. 4 times 3. Because uh, the 4 means they got an A. And it's a 3 credit class. So you multiply those two. A B and a 4 credit class. So it's going to be plus. This is the B. It's a 4 credit class. And they got a C. Which is 2. And a 3 credit class. And then they get a D, which is a 1, and a 2 credit class. And what you do is you multiply all these, like 4 times 3, that's 12, 6, whatever. And you take that total, and you divide it by how many total credit hours they took. So that it's 3 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2. So that's how you get that one. Okay, I won't ask this one because I didn't go over this too much in class, but uh, the third one's, okay, dead skewed right, no, that's wrong, it's C. So that's true, if it's bell-shaped, this is your mode, your mean, and your median. Okay, good. So hope that helped and that's it.